A family who lost their young son because of a drunk driver is trying to change Texas law to provide harsher punishment for those who give or sell alcohol to underage drivers. K-Texas reporter Cassandra Garcia takes a look at those efforts. Cassandra? Well, Bright, that's right. The Mantanona family who lost their child because of a drunk driver has organized a 5K run and a one-mile walk this weekend. We should have never been in that position in the first place if had something been done. In May of 2011, Michelle Mantanona's life changed forever. On their way to a vacation, the family was driving through Coleman when they were hit by a driver who police suspected was drunk. Her son, 8-year-old Jarrett Paul, died in that accident. 18-year-old James Morgan Gilger was later found guilty of intoxication manslaughter and was sentenced to 14 years in prison. Michelle sat down with K-Texas anchor Mari Cockrell earlier this week and talked about the moments after her son's death. He had had a prior DUI just days before. Yeah. It was later discovered 29-year-old Carlos James Anderson provided the underage driver with alcohol, but wasn't held responsible since Gilger was already 18 years old. Michelle wants Texas law changed so that people who provide alcohol to anyone under the age of 21 are held liable. Now, last year, the family held a fundraiser. They were able to raise enough money to hand out 30 car seats to families that couldn't afford them. This year, they hope to double those amount of car seats. And also, in the next few years, the family also plans to open up a foundation to give back to families who've lost people because of drunk driving. They're doing some really great things there. Good efforts. Thank you, Cassandra. Here are the facts on the run and walk scheduled on Mother's Day this Sunday. The 13th at Redbud Park. The 5K race will begin at 8 a.m. The one mile walk will start at 2 p.m. All donations will go to the Jarrett Paul Mantonona Memorial Fund.